this week's video, we'll take a closer look at Hotjar, really a great tool when it comes to measuring qualitative data about the users of your website. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and on this channel you'll find more tutorials for the modern marketer. So if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and also check out the description below because we have more links on today's topic. Now let's get into today's video. So today we want to talk about Hotjar. As I say, an all-in-one solution for analytics and feedback. I would say that this tool is really a good tool for qualitative data as opposed to quantitative data that you can gather with a Google Analytics or an Adobe Analytics. So what is a feature set of Hotjar? They give you a few different tools like heat maps, video recordings and surveys that you can run on your website in order to get qualitative feedback and understand your users better. And all this for a pretty affordable price, I would say, because previously such tools would be much more expensive to install on the website. So once you sign up, you get greeted with the interface. And the first thing that you would need to do is install Hotjar on your page. Now this is mostly done through a little bits of JavaScript that you need to install. And if you want, you can drop that into Google Tag Manager and have it installed within minutes. Once that is done, you are all ready to go. Let's go back to the interface here. And we can see the tools that we have to our disposal. First of all, there would be heat maps where you could actually see where did people click or move or scroll on your page. This is quite interesting if you have a longer landing page and want to see which elements were seen by the user, maybe even clicked on, although they're not clickable. So this gives you really fast insight into the mind of your users in combination with the movement of the actual mouse pointer and the scroll depth tracking. This can be super valuable if you want to know how far a user scrolled just on one specific page and want to have this nicely visualized with heat maps. So really a great tool that is built into Hotjar with just one JavaScript. Let's go over to recordings, one of the probably most interesting features because with Hotjar you can actually record what the user does on your web page. And this can be super valuable once you want to understand your user a bit better. So for example here we can play a video recording of the user entering the website or a special page, what he clicked on, what he saw. This is a mobile user and obviously our page is not that well mobile optimized. The cool thing about video recordings is that you can also play them very fast. So you will be able to go through many different video recordings on a page by page basis again. And you can even filter down to only see special pages and see the similarities between users going through your pages. So again, a very interesting feature when it comes to qualitative data and understanding your user better. Obviously, this is a bit more resource intensive. In the free version, you only get 100 recordings, which makes it worth upgrading to a bigger account if you need more recordings. I have seen conversion rate experts use these recordings to drill down on a given page and find out maybe what is wrong, how do people actually use that page and quickly go from a hypothesis or a hunch to a more concrete idea why this page is failing. So recordings are really a great way to find mistakes on your website if you already have an idea where to look for them. Next up are funnels. Now funnels are something that I don't use in my Hotjar installation. Why not? Because they're actually quite like Google Analytics funnels. You can only use the page URL to match up the funnel steps. They're a bit more flexible than what Google Analytics has, but at the end, you don't wanna be restricted to just page URLs. Then I would rather build my own custom funnel with the help of events and the enhanced e-commerce tracking feature of Google Analytics. 
We did another video on that a while back. So funnels is a nice to have feature within Hotjar, but for me it's mostly useless because we also have that in Google Analytics. Let's go over to forms. Forms is really interesting because you can actually choose a form on your website and then we'll build a funnel for you and look how many people actually submitted that form in the end and what the drop-off rate were, was once the user went through and started filling out that form. So if you have a longer form on your page, this can be really interesting and give you fast insights on how to optimize your forms. Then we have a little bit of feedback me mechanisms here. We have really fast polls. So what are polls? They are basically these little pop-ups that you see on a given page that pop up from the bottom of the page and ask you a quick question. What are you currently learning, for example? Easy way to get, again, qualitative feedback from your users through a quick survey that you can implement easily on your website with the help of Hotjar. Again, easy to use, fast to implement all through one tool, which is Hotjar, which is really, really convenient when it comes to surveying your website visitors. And the other tools here are surveys that you can run, which have a certain given page, or you can also recruit users to user testing panels that you might want to run on your website. All in all, the feedback mechanisms of Hotjar are really nicely built and easy to implement once you have the JavaScript on your page. So there you have it. This is a little overview on Hotjar. In my opinion, a really great tool set for getting qualitative feedback from your website users, all easily implemented through just one JavaScript that you can drop into Google Tag Manager and start using right away. I would recommend this tool to anybody who wants to get quick results from analytics by directly getting feedback from the users itself. Now, this is obviously more useful if your user group is still smaller. So if you have a small business website or an e-commerce shop with not too many visitors, then it might be well worth it to first use Hotjar and get some insights to optimize your website before you dig into the vast amounts of data that you can get through Google Analytics. So there you have it, a small overview on the Hotjar tool, which is a great measurement tool for qualitative data. I usually recommend it to clients who are new to digital analytics, want to dive in, but also want to get a fast insight into the minds of their users. With Hotjar, this is possible, and it's a great tool set to have in your tracking stack. Now, I also see a lot of conversion rate experts use this tool to find out where the highest leverage point is and where it's actually worth running an A-B test. But that's already it with this week's video of measureschool.com. If you want to dive into more resources, then find the links below in the description. And while you're down there, please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with our newest videos, which we produce every week here on this channel. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. My name is Julian. Till next time.